Welcome, my friends. Today, we're going to be talking about salutations and greetings in Nahuatl. For morning salutations or greetings, you're going to say yek peina, which literally translates as good morning. And this is particularly true in Huitzapan or Santo Domingo de Guzman, but other native speakers or speakers of Nahuatl in general would understand this as good morning and understand that you're saying good morning. Su nahate ni nemiga witsapan wang ni nemiga na witsal ku wits na wat ush takupan nahani welinina yek tunal yek tunal yek tunal ga witsapan te sunina kyuni ga witsapan nahanina yek peina wan sunahani nemi ga na witsal ku nahanina yek tunal Su nahanine mi ka takupan nahanina yek tunal. Wang su nahanine mi ka kuitznawat nahanina yek tunal. So if you're outside of Huitzapan or Santo Domingo de Guzman, you probably aren't going to be saying yek peina, you're going to be saying yek tunal. And this would include kuitznawat, nahuizalco, and takuba, where people would say yek tunal, which literally would mean good day. And that would be something you would say pretty much uh, anytime the sun is out. So from the morning to the early afternoon, something like that. When the sun is out, you would be saying yek tunal, not yek peina. Gatiutak nahanina yek tiutak. Yek tiutak. Yek tiutak su nahaninemi kawitsapan ush su nahaninemi ka nawitsalku witsnawat ush takupan. Naha mayanina sempa yek tiutak. For the afternoon or tiutak, you would say yek tiutak. And this would be true for pretty much anywhere there's native speakers or uh, speakers that are that are new to the language. You would say yek tiutak. That would be Santo Domingo de Guzman, Tacuba, Nahuizalco, or Cuisnawa. Gatayuwa, Nahanina, yek tayuwa. Yek tayuwa. Yek tayuwa, su nahaninemi. Kawitsapan ush sinahaninemi ga nawitsalku witsnawat ush takupan nahanina sempa yek tayuwa. For the night time, pretty much everywhere people are speaking Nahuatl, you're going to be able to use yek tayuwa, which would be good night. Uh, this would be a salutation you would use in the night time in all places. Sunahan yawa nahanina nyawa wangneuksesi wat ush tagat. Ina shiawa wang nahaniweli niyao. And when you're departing or leaving a place, you would say niyawa, which means I am leaving. And the other person you're talking to would say shiawa. That's how they would respond. Shiawa, which means leave. Uh, but it's not interpreted as kind of kicking you out. It's more of acknowledging that you've said you're leaving and they also are saying goodbye. Su nahan yawa nahaniweli nina. Timuitat, timuitat, su timuitasket, iwang nesiwat, ush netagat, nahaniwalinina, timuitat. An alternative is if you're going to see someone you're with again, you can say timuitat, which would literally mean uh, we'll see each other or I'll see you, something like that. But it'd be more like we'll see each other. So this is composed of a couple different fragments. The first, the prefix ti, would be uh, the we along with the T at the end, which signifies plural. The mu in this word is going to signify that it's reflexive, which is something that you don't see a whole lot of in English, but those of you that are learning Spanish or know Spanish, you see that quite a bit. And ita is the verb, which means see. So again, literally, timo would be, we'll see each other. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And let's study Nahuatl so it doesn't die. Payush gigante chitat, sumu gustu neolinquiquil, shimutawawasu, shikmaga nu gustu, wan shipanulti, iguan mugu kumpawan. Timu machtigan nahuat, palte migi, niawa.